Hey, what's up guys? It's Aburnby here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, Scent 6.0 running on the HTC One uh, M7. This is the version of Sense that's going to be out on the new HTC One, the HTC One M8. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So this is the lock screen. It's pretty similar to the old one, except now you can swipe up, and then I don't know if you can see that, you can swipe to the left or swipe to the right. So depending on where you swipe, if you swipe to the left, it takes you straight into the home screen. If you swipe to the right, it takes you straight into blink feed. And uh, if you swipe up, it takes you into your previous app, just like um, unlocking your phone on any other phone. So that's the lock screen. So now we're on the home screen. There's not much that's changed, but the one new thing is the new blink feed. So you can swipe up, swipe left, and you see all this, all these news articles and uh, all these other stuff. You can add your favorite things. So right now I have it linked to Google+. But if you click search for content here, you can add many other um, stuff such as electronics, cigarettes, Canada, whatever, let me cigarettes Canada and all that stuff you can see the entire news feed right here you can add it to your blink feed not gonna do that right now so yeah that's the home screen next up we have the app drawer which is basically the same and uh, a lot of the apps have been updated to fit the new um, Android guidelines so for example if we take a look at music right here as you can see the design has been changed um, a lot and uh, I don't know if it's gonna get in focus here but yeah the de design has been changed a lot so if we open up and uh, basically anything doesn't matter what music it is you have the now playing screen swipe to the right has a visualizer and uh, there's a lot of new visualizers for it too and of course like previous versions of Sense you can see the see the lyrics on it's not really a great song for that but uh, yeah you can see all that basically everything has been updated with a fresh new look so you can swipe across the apps just like that um, what's next? Uh, there's a new camera. New camera. It has a camera mode, video mode, Zoe camera mode, selfie mode, and panorama 360 mode. And it's updated with the new interface too. Um, we have all the standard apps such as a uh, clock, calendar, calculator, uh, everything like that. You can scroll down. There's a new phone dialer app. Most of the stuff that have been changed have been changed in the settings. So right now, I'm in the settings right here. You can click personalize. And one of the new things that they've done is... Uh, Sorry that it's not in focus. One of the new things that they've done is they've added themes. So right now I'm on this theme. I can quickly switch it to this one. Click apply. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. It changes the whole theme to this. And not just that, it also changes the messages, everything. And uh, yeah, that's something that's pretty cool that they've added. On every single app, they updated to the new guidelines, so you can see this. And uh, you can also see that the status bar has also changed colors based on based on what app you're in. Uh, what else? They have the scribble thing. You can choose a template. Uh, do whatever you want in that. Tasks has also been updated, except 
you can do whatever you want here, add a task, one time, everything like that. And another cool thing that they've added is this right down here, if you go to display, you can actually change the font from the default font, which is Roboto, to Helvetica and other fonts. So I have it changed to Helvetica right now, but I changed it back to Roboto. And you can see the difference that it's made in the font style throughout the whole UI. Also in KitKat, they've added the immersive mode. So if you go to an app that has a immersive mode enabled, you can see that uh, it's kind of transparent and overlapping. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, basically they just made everything look a lot better. The browser has been updated to, to the new version. The clock. The uh, there is a new FM radio version. So you need to plug in headphones for that. And second. Okay, I've plugged in headphones. FM turning on. Scanning, please wait. I uh, can just wait for that to finish, but whatever, cancel that. Go to radio station. Faster than the speed of light. Yeah, you can't really hear that, but um, yeah, the radio station's been changed. And the UI is one of the main things that's been updated, and it really looks really good. I think uh, it's getting to a point where the uh, HTC Sense is on par with iOS 7, and uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty big deal because iPhone, the iPhone and Apple has been considered one of the lead in design for a long time, so that's a great update for that. I'll turn the FM radio off for now. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. They also have this new thing called Zoe. I don't really know what it is. It should be something to do with uh, photos and the old Zoe, but when you click check it out, it, it takes you to a page that says item not found. It's probably because the release hasn't been out yet. So there's that. Um, some small changes when you press and hold on the home screen, you can actually change your wallpaper from the home screen itself. Um, and uh, you can manage home screen pages, do whatever you want there. Stock app has been updated. And it, all these colors you see here, they um, change according to what, uh, what theme you've chosen. So right now I have this theme, I changed it. So all the colors for all the apps changed uh, according to that. Can take a quick look at the settings about software information. HTC Sense version. Let me just focus it in. It's not going to get in focus, is it? Yeah, hopefully you can see that. Um, HTC Sense version 6, uh, SDK API, whatever. Android version 4.4.2. And yeah, it should be releasing along with the HTC M8, the new HTC One, on uh, March 25th. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, leave a like below if you liked the video. Um, give me a comment on what I can improve for my next video. And uh, leave a sub if you want to get more videos like this. Thanks guys.